So as I'm moving into the new studio, I thought I'd give you guys a behind the scenes look at how I'm putting together my editing desk. So I have a plan, it's, I mean, it's kind of a budget friendly setup, but it's also kind of not a budget friendly setup considering that it consists of an 18 core iMac Pro and a 48 terabyte RAID setup. But the desk itself was not super expensive, so I guess it's kind of budget. And basically, I'm just going to walk you guys through the process of building this, setting it up. I'm going to try some cable management, which I haven't done too much in the past, which you've probably noticed if you look at the background of my previous videos. You know, not, not my finest. But that's what we're going to hopefully address today, by making a much better desk setup. So there are a couple of goals with the desk setup that we're going to be working on today. The first is, of course, aesthetic. I'm setting up a studio that is going to be used for filming, so I want things to look pretty on camera. So that was the first thing that we wanted to accomplish. The second thing is I didn't want to spend too much money, so the whole desk was about 300 bucks, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually a pretty large desk, and that brings me on to the next thing that I wanted, and that is an L-shaped desk. So for one, I really like L-shaped desks because you can have multiple screens and you can kind of rotate around and feel like you're really in control. And then also the L part will stick out and will give me another surface to film B-roll on. So definitely a lot, of, a lot of factors went into deciding what this is going to be, but still it's all in my head. So now I need to actually build it and cable manage it, and decorate it, and make it look good. So, well, let's do it. So we've just cleaned it off, vacuumed the floor. It's very nice. <laughs> this is all starting to look pretty good. I mean, the background is, is coming together. Obviously, we've still got a few more things to add, but I like the shape of this. Yeah. I like the location of it. We do have a little bit of dead space, but in terms of what else we need for the desk, um, we do still have all the stuff that needs to get plugged in, so I've got the speakers, I've got the 48 terabyte RAID array over Thunderbolt. This thing is really sick. We'll talk about that when the desk is all put together. And of course there's the iMac Pro and then I just have a little desk mat. So what we'll do now I think is kind of put everything where it's gonna go. And then tomorrow I'll just work on the cable management because I don't feel like doing that right now. What's nice about this desk is it has these little trays under here. Um, the reason I got those is because on the back side, if we squeeze in there, I'll be able to put cable management. I got some trays that I can screw in there and it'll kind of let us hide some things. So yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. It was annoying to build though. Yeah, I think it got a little bit, I mean, probably can't see it, but it, uh... One of the screw holes was not in the right place, so. That's fun. But it turned out fine, I guess, so. All right, so let's, um, let's set this up. It's looking good. Ooh. It's gonna be nice to have 
room for the speakers on the sides of the monitor because I normally have them like on the old desk because I had the dual iMac setup. They were like behind and the audio wasn't even. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, no, it's not great. But now that won't be a problem. I've kind of, I'm kind of over the, um, the dual iMac setup. I've had it for a long time though. It is very clean here with the, the iMac Pro just right there. Yeah. You have plenty of room here if you need to have another computer. And I feel like the dark desk makes the iMac Pro look good. Yeah. I like it. Uh, still some more work to do. So I'll give you guys the full tour about all of the, you know, all of the components that went into this. Once I have it all cable managed with shelves up and decorated and finished off. So as of now, the desk setup is nearly complete. You can see we got these nice shelves up. That was in the uh, the second video of the move-in tour. Uh, and then really the only thing that I wanna do is clean up the cable management and move this RAID array down to this shelf. Cause this was the cord that it came with and obviously it's not very long and neither was the power cord. So the power cord couldn't reach from the outlet over there down to the shelf. But now that I've ordered a new Thunderbolt cord and a new power cord, we can move this, get it off the top of the desk, which will clean it up a little bit. And then we're gonna have to do something about this because it's a bit of a mess. Now, it's not, it's not super duper bad um, and I'm not gonna like clean it up perfectly, but I do wanna, you know, at least try a little bit to tidy up the space. And then that will be that. And I'll talk about what all is on the desk setup. Well, here it is. The new desk setup is done and I'm honestly really, really happy with how it came out. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I went for an L-shaped desk, which is both form and function for me. For one, I like how it looks. I also like having space next to me if I wanna have a laptop or an iPad over there while I'm editing. And then also having this additional table space with a great view of the rest of the set is gonna be really helpful for B-roll in upcoming videos. So I'm really happy with the look of this desk. For 300 bucks, I think it honestly looks pretty good. Now in terms of the price for this whole setup, basically the desk was $330 and then really the only other stuff that I added cosmetically was the pair of shelves above the desk for 40 bucks. And then I got a little fake plant for 10 bucks and a lamp at Target for 30. So that's really not that much in terms of getting this thing to look the part. In terms of the actual tech that's incorporated in this, uh, well, obviously I already had the iMac. It's my 18 core iMac Pro, which is pretty much fully loaded. 128 gigabytes of RAM, two terabyte SSD, upgraded Vega 64 graphics with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and I have plugged into that my Logitech speakers, which I've had for about three years now. They're not the fanciest, but they sound really good for editing and for listening to music, so I like them. What I did add this time was a 48 terabyte RAID array, which I bought from OWC. This thing is a huge upgrade over what I've been using previously, which was basically just a bunch of external hard drives uh, over USB-C that, uh, that I just bought every time they filled up. So I've got like three or four of them. I probably should have upgraded to a RAID array or a NAS sooner. It was like $1,800, $1,900 to get this 48 terabyte configuration. I could have saved a little bit of money if I had bought just an empty enclosure and then bought the drives myself. But 
I didn't really feel like going through all that stuff. Plus, the 48 terabyte version, as I have it here from OWC, comes with the uh, the Soft Raid configuration software. So it was super easy to get this thing set up, and I'm really happy with it. It's almost at a gigabyte read-write speeds, which is much better than the external drives I was using before, which were like, uh, gosh, like 50 to 100 megabytes per second read-write. It's just awful. So the other upgrade that I did that I should have done a long time ago was I finally got myself a nice desk chair. So for a couple of years now, I've been using just whatever Ikea $60 office chair, and I thought it was fine, but a lot of people have been recommending that I get a better chair, and I have to say, they were right. I went for a Herman Miller Aeron, which is usually like $950 or $1,000, but I got it open box on Amazon for, it was like $599, something like that. So I consider that a pretty good deal, and I have to say, it's a really, really comfortable chair. So overall, this desk setup is a huge upgrade, and I'm really happy with how it came out. Let me know what you think in terms of form and function and how it looks in the comments below. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani and definitely subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.